Jamari was a special kid, a humble kid. He loved everyone. He was that child that he would always uplift you. Um, he would never tear you down. He was just that fun kid to be around, the, the jokester, the likable kid at school. So the honor roll student, he was end up perfectionist at anything that he was involved in. He was my 10-year-old son who lost his life to suicide uh, due to bullying. He was being bullied because he was different, so I try to focus on my messages. It's okay to be different. I feel telling Jamari's story helps other children. I don't want another family to go through the tragedy that our family is experiencing every day. Uh, we miss Jamari on a daily basis, and I really b believe in my heart. It's just my responsibility to bring awareness to this serious situation here. Bullying's always been around. Unfortunately, it does seem to be ramping up, and then of course with um, social media, it, it can get out there so much quicker, and that's where so much of the damage is done because, you know, videos can go viral and that kind of thing. But I think we just need to start building a culture of respect for one another. I was on both sides of the spectrum. I was a bully at one time, and I was bullied. I was a bully at one time because of the fact, growing up in a one-parent household, there was a lot of void. My mom, who is now my biggest Avenger, she is. She never graduated from high school. She got a GED. She was incarcerated because she did things she thought she had to do to see that I make it. I was mad as hell. This is my language, but I was. I was mad because I didn't like me. I was really mad because I didn't like what I looked in the mirror and saw. Was it too much for me to ask? God for a mother and a father. So I was mad. I was mad at anybody else that seemed to have it a little bit better than me. And my mom was out working. She doing what she had to do. So I was left. I wasn't abandoned, but I didn't have that father. I was a mistake. So I was mad. And a lot of these kids today, they're mad. They can't see a way out of the situation because they're living in a box. So they take it out on whomever because they feel, like, they feel as though they don't have nothing to lose or nothing to gain. We used to say words didn't hurt, but words do hurt. They will cut you like a knife. So we just have to be prepared and let our children know it is okay to be different. We all was created differently for a reason. If we all was created the same, this would be a poor world. Talk to your children. Jamari and I had a, a great relationship, but being involved, um, just knowing their moves, their patterns. If your child tells you something is going on, handle it immediately. With my child, I told him we would handle it the next day. My next day never came. So I always try to encourage parents, when something's going on, jump on it immediately. So I think the main thing for parents, whether your child is being bullied or your child is the one that's bullying, I think there's a combination between being empathetic for your child, for what they're going through, and also holding them accountable. You know, and I think we can, I think we can do that beautifully. Parents do know that your kids need you, want you, and have to have you in their lives to be successful. Please pay attention to the little things in your kid's life. The mannerisms, the sudden change. Sit down and just talk to your kids. A lot of times today we are engaged in the hustle and bustle of life and getting the things, but that one thing that is gone or seems like it's gone now, is sit down and eat with your kid. A lot of things come out over a meal. It's not about what you're eating, it's about the time that's spent together while you're eating. And it's a shame to have kids and have Facebook, Instagram, and social media to raise them. 
How would you know your kid is a bully or is getting bullied? Spending time with your kid. And in raising your kid, I guarantee you'll get to know you a little bit better. Because the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Thank you guys for listening.